guys and welcome back to another episode of Hidden Dragon. Now, um, I made a slight boo-boo and that was I was going through things and I didn't really know when the draw was taking place because for some reason it didn't appear on my newsfeed. And then all of a sudden I was skipping through some days and realised that it had already been drawn, which is a massive faux pas and I do apologise for that. But because I haven't saved it since... Uh, just after the Finland game, I was not going to go back and redo all that just so we could do the draw live, unfortunately, because it has taken bloody ages. Um, so here we go. We're in a group of Bosnia, Holland and Italy. Um, could that be any bloody tougher is all I have to say about that. Um, I think the best thing we've got really is a chance of maybe getting third in that group and sneaking through as the best place third team. But in order to do that, we are going to have to beat Bosnia. There's no two ways about it. We must beat them. Um, so there we go. If we could get 300 likes on this episode, that would be genuinely amazing anyway. And um, yeah, I'll do a question of the day. Um, actually, screw it. We'll do a quick question of the day right now. Um, let's see. Wouldn't it be better if SI spent more time on the game engine rather than beautifying the game? Um... Yeah, I, I kind of agree with you, which is ironic because I actually had another question of the day that was asking the exact opposite. Would you prefer SI to work on the 3D gameplay um, rather than everything else because there's not much else they can prove? I disagree. I think there's a lot they can improve about the game that isn't 3D match engine because I don't think that many people actually use it as a kind of base. Like, I think most people, like at least sort of 60, 70% still play the game on 2D um, classic, basically, um, with 3D highlights on maybe. But I don't. I just can't read the game properly myself when I'm using it on 3D highlights. That's why I don't do 3D um, gameplay, basically, apart from as goal highlights. But there we go. Let me know what you think, guys. What would you like to see them improve, um, given what you've seen so far in FM16, going into FM17? Do let me know in the comments. Right, now, um, enjoy some highlights of some friendlies that we're about to go and play. We did already play Bhutan, but I forgot that I had my assistant set to take the uh, friendly for that for some reason. I don't know why, because I don't remember setting it like that, but there you go. We won 8-1. I decided to play a friendly against the Bhutan clan, because why the hell not? So... Without further ado, um, enjoy some highlights of the other friendlies we have, and we'll get to our first game, which is going to be against Holland. So enjoy that, and I'll see you guys in a sec. Well, Bale's across, and that is 1-0 to Wales. Poland 0, Wales 1, Gareth Bale with the goal. Tell you what, this would be a damn good performance if we can beat a team like Poland. Oh, Rebus puts it in there. Wales 1. <laughs> Sorry, Poland 1, Wales 1. Wales 1. Jesus Christ. There we go, guys. Poland 1, Wales 1. Not a bad result against a decent Poland team through a couple more challenges and he's smashed it straight in the back of the net. Russia 1, Wales 0. Lawrence? Bradshaw? Goal. There we go. Russia 1, Wales 1. Tom Bradshaw it only took one good opportunity and we've taken it. Well done, Tom. A cock around. He's inside and there is the goal. He's been absolutely lethal today. We really do need to close him down better. Alexander Cochran with the second goal for Russia and his second of the night. This time he does score. Ward just lets that go straight through his leg. Disappointing. Russia 3, Wales, Wales 1. Whip a good cross in. Goes all the way across. Ramsey's header and it's in the back of the net, amazingly. He's into the box and he struck that straight past Ward, who's really not been good today at all. Igor Smolnikov makes it Russia 4, Wales 2. Ward has just missed everything that's gone right at him. Up to Wilson. There's a break on for Wales now, perhaps. No, Russia 4, Wales 2. Strange game. They create a lot of good chances, but unfortunately Daniel Ward was just not good enough in goal. So now this is good. which just whips it in. Vokes is bringing it down. Pulls it back. Wilson in the bottom corner. Lovely stuff. One minute gone. Wales 1. Andorra nil. Perfect start to the game. Acres here. Must turn aside and shoot. Lawrence comes across. Lawrence scores. Wales 2. Andorra nil. As you'd expect. Dawley. Taylor. Flicked into the back of the net. We've actually scored technically from a corner there. Jordan Williams with the goal. Wales 3. Andorra nil. Good stuff. Lovely ball out wide to Neil Taylor. Can he get a ball in though? He does. Vokes his header, and that is another goal for Sam Vokes. Wales 4, and Doran Hill. Sam Vokes needs that match fitness back, and today's a good time to do it. Pull it back across. Vokes is in there again, and he has scored another one. Let's it go around. Vokes, maybe for the hat trick. Vokes for the hat trick. Wales 6, and Doran Hill. Probably our biggest win. Um, there we go. Wales 6, and Doran Hill. Obviously, it's Andorra, but I like the fact that we've not had that many shots compared to what we usually have and scored lots of goals. Always important. Right, guys, we're back. So, we played a couple of friendlies, which you've just seen the highlights of. Uh, there was a Bhutan one, of course, as well, but that was 8 1 to us. So, you know, would have been a little bit silly to show highlights. And, of course, I didn't actually uh, do the game. So, um, we decided to play Andorra just to get some confidence going in us, basically, because I felt that if we didn't, um, with the games against Russia and Poland, things could get a little bit dicey. Uh, we actually got a good draw against Poland, as you saw. And away in Russia, as much as we conceded a lot of chances, um, we maybe even could have done slightly better because there were some good opportunities for ourselves and maybe that's the kind of style we need to play against teams that are better than us. Now, we also had a draw uh, for the Nations League, which I completely skipped over yet again. Um, so I'm massively sorry about that, but I didn't want to put two draws in anyway. Um, and we've got Holland and Italy in our group, which is ironic because we're actually playing both Holland and Italy in the Euros too. So we're going to be seeing a lot of them over the next sort of year or two of this save, it seems to say. So... Um, Squad-wise, we had another youth intake. There was one player that was interested for me this year, and his name was Stephen Morgan. Here he is. Um, so 
he plays for Swansea City again, I believe. Yes, he does. Okay, he looks pretty damn good, I have to say. Um, yeah, okay, there's a few cons, but the point is he's 16 years old, and I think that there's a lot to come from this lad. He looks like he was the standout player from this year's youth intake uh, of Welsh origin, and he's actually fully Welsh, so no need to mess around. People like Ashley Hall is what I would really like to get. Problem is he is English and refuses to be called up for us. But this sort of stuff could also change. I've kept him in the national pool anyway, just to be sure. Gwyn Dumphy is improving, but again, these sort of players in a couple of years' time are going to be definite involvements. But for now, we're still kind of going with the old guard, uh, so to speak just because we kind of have to, basically. Um, obviously, Gwyn Dunphy has been in a squad and actually um, did play a game for us, which was great. I'm trying to get them in slowly so that we get them their first caps to make sure there's no other funny business going on, but, of course, not overdoing it still. So, um, we're going to jump straight into this, basically, guys. I see no reason why we shouldn't. Holland. Now, Bosnia is the team that we've got to see as a chance to win, basically. A, a winnable game. Obviously, I did massive rotation for the last match to keep freshness, in theory, for this one. Now, Chester's match fitness is, is better than it was, but it's still not great. And unfortunately, because it's off-season, it's not fantastic. Competency in the tactic is back. As you, Unfortunately, for the friendlies, we were basically started off on awkward again because they seemed to have forgotten most of the stuff I told them. Um, so, Bradshaw, Williams, Bale, Wilson, Allen and Ramsey. That's a good pair in there. Taylor, who's doing well for assists for the country. I swear he's got like five lately. Uh, Dummett, Chester, Williams and Darlow who I still prefer to Daniel Ward. Daniel Ward did not do well against Russia, and so I put Darlow back in. I was testing him out just in case, but Ramsey, it says he needs a rest, but he's got 93, and he didn't play at all in the last game, so I'm pretty confident with that one. We are going to switch to counter, but once we get into the match, though, um, just so it doesn't affect the sort of base tactic. Um, Bale in the middle. I just really like George Williams. He's doing it. Look at that. He's actually not a bad player. He's a really solid player. I think he still plays for Hearts. Yeah, he is. He's 4.6 million quid. He's a decent looking player, I have to say. Uh, that's his role ability, of course. But still, I think his overall ability is fairly solid as well. Decent player, I have to say. So, without further ado, let's get into the game. I'll switch to counter once we get into the match. Now, it's, of course, against Holland, so it's going to be difficult. Um, I'm not expecting the win, but I am expecting us to at least try. Um, it's gonna, I can't believe we've got drawn against Holland and what... Oh, is that Rekaira? I was going to say, I was like, what's Andrea Zivkovic doing playing for Holland? So, they've got Memphis... The pie, of course, Olshik uh, Sinkgraven, which is a bloody lovely name. Um, Daily Blind, uh, Promise, Willems, uh, Riedwald, uh, De Vries, Tete, and Sillerson in goal. And obviously, you know, tons more players on the bench, which no doubt we will see, including a guy called Hendrix, which I like, Stuart Hendrix. I uh, was the going to enjoy looking out for like um awesome regen names soon one of my favorite activities on fm is just looking for regen names so we're going to just sort of fire them up but the fact is i've told them before we go into the tournament that anything we get is is a bonus basically um the group we've got is much tougher than it was last time basically you know remember last time we had uh who was the big team it was germany wasn't it but then we also had austria and slovakia so Oh, wait, 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 wait. Sorry, I'm not on control. I'm uh, not on counter. I just think that those sort of teams, you know, we don't have that. Bosnia are, are at least as good as those sides, perhaps even maybe slightly better. So it's a worry uh, for me, frankly, that we've got those sort of problems. But, you know, we're just going to have to do our best against these sort of sides. And if we were, to, I think it's probably down to the world rankings, which despite all our good form lately has still not risen hugely. Depay now. Oh, I've got Olshik. Whipped in, cleared away by Dummett. Good stuff. And oh, promises they're so much quicker than us, which is the disappointing factor of this. Um, they just have such pace in those areas. I'm also going to turn off um, play out of defense because at this point we might just need to. Mm. No, I'm confident for now. I might switch to shoot on sight if we don't find ourselves getting too many opportunities just to get a couple of shots. Depay, Depay. Oh, he's. I mean, he's absolutely done the defender there. Wales nil. Holland won and already we're behind and unfortunately this was always going to be the problem against teams like Holland I'm loving the pitch graphic as well that's really nice it looked like Depay just jinxed out our centre back and just run past him and scored disappointing but I don't think we can really ask for much more than that from a centre back at this point um let's just see what he actually did it looked like he stopped took a little sort of shimmy up Okay, yeah, that, that'll do. Um, that's what we call skill moves on FM and just smashes it into the back of the net probably one of the best players in the world so yeah, we're going to have to do something in this game. Just to try and avoid embarrassment like we have in the past. Um, now then, we're not doing awful. We've got a lot of possession. Well, I'll say a lot of possession. We've got more than they do, which is surprising. Uh, which makes me wonder if maybe switching to control again might actually not be a bad idea. Because we're more competent with that style. And maybe it will just give us a bigger foothold on the game. Although we're not offering a lot up front. Tom Bradshaw has taken a knock as well, which is not ideal. Hmm... Getting the half-time at 1-0 is not the worst thing in the world. Bosnia and Italy haven't played yet. I assume they're playing later this evening. So, yeah, we'll just kind of G them up. We'll take a little look at the Pro Zone stats and see if we can't figure out anything that's going on, going a bit wrong here. So, Holland. 
Key passes. Zivkovic is interesting. You're making a lot of key passes from that forward line. So we might just have to take a little look at that. They're still relatively central and play quite short from the back. So I'm tempted to switch things up a little bit in this second half because we're going to have no choice but to go for it. We're going to look for the overlap and we're going to exploit the flanks a little bit more. Um, and that's it's one of my go-to things, basically. If there's space down those wings, we use it, basically. So we're going to switch back to the pitch, of course, and we're going to go to the second half. And immediately, ooh, not make a substitution, that's the wrong button, Matt. We're going to go to target Zivkovic, if we aren't already, anyway. Um, tight marking, never. What are we doing? That's my bad. Um, and we'll close him down a little bit more. Just push him, because he's creating key passes, as well as, obviously, being a striker. So we kind of want them to avoid... We want to be able to avoid them getting the ball to him, basically. Um, as much as Depay scored the goal, Zivkovic looks like the danger man. Oh, Wilson's through here, potentially with a chance. No, he's got too many players around him now. Oh, Bale's in! Okay, question. How in the name of God did he manage to skew it that way when he's running off the other direction of the ball? Very bizarre situation there. But there we go. Uh, Ramsey picks it up again. This is better from Wales. Bale. Out wide for Wilson. He's got support out wide if he can find it. This is more like, oh, that was woeful. That was really powerful. He should have looked to the right-hand side, and now Zivkovic is in. Darlow's just, well, actually, Darlow closed the angle down in a weird way, but hey, he did it, so that's the main thing. We've created the only decent chance of the game so far. I'm actually quite pleased with us. We're holding our own against a good Holland team. We've got support down this right-hand side. Look at the space for these wide men. Williams, they're not even coming to close him down. Cross is in. Wilson, there's a bit of space here. Can he shoot? Ah, oh, Bale, yes! Sorry, guys, there we go. Holland are... Well, I mean, they've just not turned up properly in this second half. We've been so good. The changes we've made have made a difference. Now, we've got to be careful that they don't switch things up, of course. But look at the space that Harry Wilson has here. To dink this one to the back post, Tete knocks it down, which is bad defending, and Bale with the strike. Wales won, Holland won. If we got a point against Holland, that could really shake this group up. Not going to judge anything just yet, though, because they've literally got an instant highlight. So we'll have to see how things go. This is usually what happens is they go straight back in front again at this point. But we'll have to see. Depay is still a danger man, but he may have to come off at some point. Just, oh, God. Why do we bother? Um, he could just pick the ball up from kickoff and just run through us again. I just don't think we've got any way of dealing with him at the moment. And look at this. There's nobody's even bothered to tackle him. I understand we've got to stay on our feet, but, I mean, there's... <laughs> They've just walked it straight through from kickoff without us even touching it. That's really poor from us to allow that to happen. Um, not that Depay hasn't done a shitload of work to get that situation, of course. Uh, Bradshaw is knackered, so we're going to have to get... Why is Vokes' morale abysmal? It was fine a minute ago. Okay, bizarre. Hmm. I'm tempted to get... Yeah, we got Vokes on up front to give us a slightly different option. Harry Wilson has been great, but he may need to just sort of take a little backseat and get Tom Lawrence on uh, to go on that right-hand side. I might have to switch to attacking soon. Depends. We've got the equaliser in this game and really shown that we're actually not an awful team. Ball into the midfield. That should be won by Ramsey and he has won it. Chester could get this back to him. Still time for Wales to get an equaliser in this game. If we could... But the problem is Depay. I really want Holland to take Depay off. If they take him off, we might have a hope of getting something from this game because if we do get another goal, they might not be able to equalise immediately. Uh, promise. Blind. Out wide. They're going a lot wider now all of a sudden. Cleared away. Blind. Zivkovic. Oh, come on. What the hell happened there? Um, I want to see the 3D highlight of that, because it looked like that Darlow just let that go straight over his head. Maybe goalkeepers aren't fixed after all. Okay, so it's flicked in by Blind, and then Zivkovic is there, and Darlow, well, looked to me like he basically touched the ball and just left it. Very bizarre. Um, shouldn't really be able to score from that angle, but there you go. It's 3-1. Uh, we're going to have to sort of push a little bit more. I don't think goal difference is all that important at this point, so we're just going to have to... Have a little crack at it now. Lawrence whips it in. Cleared away. Comes down to Allen. There's huge gaps for George Williams. Can he tuck inside and have a shot? Bale. Bale scores. Wales 2. Holland 3. We're doing okay in this game. It's actually been fairly even. You could even argue that we're a little bit unlucky to actually be losing this one. But hey, that, that's that's a promising sign for us. The fact that we're actually holding our own against a team like Holland. And I think if it wasn't for Memphis Depay being just so unbelievably good. Then again, Bale's kind of like that for us in a way. So I can't really say that. Um, are they going to take Memphis Depay off? Or have they already? Uh, that's interesting. Is that Zivkovic that's gone off? Or is he just injured? I haven't seen anything pop up. Let's see. Is there one more goal in this for us? I feel like we have no choice but to leave Bale on, even though he's a little bit knackered right now, because he is playing out of his skin for us. Right, they've brought on Kishna for old shit. Um, oh, crap. So much space. Depay's in, and that is going to be 4-2. 
it's, I mean, once he's in those positions, he's not going to miss, unfortunately. And I feel like 4-2 is a bit harsh on us, really. We've played really, really well in this game. And to, mm, unfortunately, we've just been caught on the break trying to catch up and get ourselves the win. Shame. Zivkovic is ball over the top. Depay is in here, and he's never going to get caught by the defender. Once he's got that position, it's just a simple finish on the ground. Darlo could do nothing about that, and it is 4-2 to Holland. Shame, but we must move on. We're going to make one more sub now to try and uh, G us up one last little amount. Um, Johnny William... No, wait, 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 wait. wait. No, that's not the right type of player. Ramsey is going to come off because we're going to need him. So we'll get Johnny Williams on, who is another decent playmaking pl type of player. Um, oh, come on, don't concede another one. Let's not get stupid with this now. Uh, maybe we should go back another... <laughs> what was that? Um, I think we can sort of count ourselves a little bit unlucky in this game. They've taken their chances and Memphis Depay... Has, it's basically been Depay versus Bale for the majority of it. Um, but, oh, come on. No, don't concede another goal. 5-2 would be much too harsh for us. What a save. Great save from Darlow. And still, it's so even in most of the stats in this game. In fact, every single stat, virtually, except they've had one more overall shot, has been so even. Ah. I don't know. I think on another day, we might have actually got something out of this game. But we've really shown to me that there is some potential in this team. But I think... We need to take that potential and thrash Bosnia with it, basically. That's the only option we've got left. 4-2 to Holland. A little bit disappointing, but what can you do? Um, we've been decent. We really have. I think we genuinely can say that for once. Um, Bradshaw's the only one that agrees, but I genuinely think they did do a bloody good job in that game. They really did match Holland for mostly most of the game, but unfortunately, Depay is just too damn good. But there we go, guys. So, in the next episode, of course, it's going to be double livecom, so Bosnia and then the final game against Italy. But the most important game, really, is the slightly concerned. We're playing Holland. What were you expecting, guys? Uh, so, yeah, it's going to be, of course, the game against Italy and Bosnia. Now, of course... Um, if we do somehow get through this group, uh, we shall win against Bosnia could potentially give us that. I feel like there's enough chance for us to do that, if we can put enough goals past them, perhaps. Um, then we've got, obviously, loads of games against Italy and Holland in the Nations League after that. So, guys, if you like what you've seen, please do drop a like on the video. That would be amazing. And if you'd like to even more than that, please do subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in your inbox every single day at 7 o'clock. And I will see you guys in the next episode for another game in the Euros. Uh, actually, two games against Bosnia and Italy. Can we get through? Let me know in the comments if you think we're going to get through or not. I'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.